everybody this is Miss Nelson again and today I am going to do a tutorial for you on how to use Think Central. Think Central is the online component of our curriculum for math, reading, and science. Meaning that in addition to getting a textbook in the classroom, your student also gets access to this website, Think Central, who makes the curriculum. Um, Think Central uh, online and will have resources for the kids such as their textbook as an e-edition so they don't have to bring their big heavy, heavy textbooks home with them every day. If they have an internet connection they can get to their textbook online. Um, it also gives them different um, games or interventions or different things that they can do to practice what they're learning in the class. So I'm going to show you how to log on to Think Central and how to use it. And my hope is that you will be using this as part of your study habits every day. So if you are in my classroom, you would go to our classroom symbol page, which you know all of you know how to get to if you're in my classroom. And you would click on this red tile that says Think Central. If you're not in my classroom, you would just type in thinkcentral.com. Anyway, let me show you how to do it if you're in my classroom and you click on my thing on my simple tile. It will take you directly to this page. Now, if you are not in my classroom and you're in somebody else's classroom, you and you're not in our school at West Navarre Intermediate School, you would need to just go to thinkcentral.com and you need to get to this page right here um, where you would log in. You would need to choose your state, your district, Santa Rosa County School District is ours if you're in my classroom and your school. I would click remember my information because you're going to be um, hopefully my hope like I said is that you're going to be using this all the time and you don't want to have to choose make these choices every time. Your username is your student ID and I'm just going to give you a sample one here. I'm going to just use a, a, um, a fake student so you put in your student ID if you're at a different school, you may have a different username and password. Your teacher will have given it to you, and you probably use it in class all the time. I'm just going to use um, one for a demonstration purpose. And then your password, guys, if you're in my classroom, is just a lowercase s and the last four digits of your um, student ID number. And then you're going to click Login. You can tell it to remember it if you want, but you don't have to. If somebody else uses this computer that you're going on, I'd probably say not now because you don't want them to be able to access your stuff. Okay, and this is a screen that you're going to get. You're going to see things to do, your library, and your test scores. First, let's look at things to do. It says here in um, lowercase letters under uh, a little description, access all assignments, their due dates, and status. So if I have gone in and I have given you something to do, right now we're on chapter three, and 3.5 is sort of a hard chapter for my students, I would go ahead and give them an assignment that says do first and this is a second one. So you would click on this assignment and it would give you something to do. Um, let's go back to the previous page where you could choose your options and let me show you what else you can do in your library is where you're going to find all of your books you can choose over here you're gonna have right now we're on math but you can choose reading and you can see your reading books or you can choose science and you can see your science books because we have think central for math reading and science you can have access to all these I'll just do an example with our math on our math, you can either go to your textbook and you can get, you can redo whatever lesson we were on for the day to give yourself some extra practice. Just click on the table of contents and like I said, we we're on chapter three, so I'm just going to give you an example of, say we were on 3.5, you just click on 3.5 and here would be the lesson that we actually went through, the whole entire lesson that we went through in the, um, classroom that day. So you can actually do this here. You have tools down here, a highlighter that you can color on there and things like that with, or you can do it on a separate piece of paper. 
or you can um, go up here and there's things to help you like these are tools so it would give you the input and the output and you would be able to practice this here um, or you can do a destination map which is sort of a fun game that goes along with teaching the skills that we learned for the day there's a tutorial, there's a practice, there's a workout, there's classroom activities. There's tons of stuff. This stuff would take you a long time to do, and it's great practice to go along with what we learned in the classroom. So see, this is these fun, these are the fun games that we sometimes play at the beginning of the class to get the lesson started. And it practices everything that we just learned in the lesson. Okay, so closing this out and going back, I just went to the um, student edition to see that. These are other things that you can do. Now, if you forgot your homework and you know that you have to do the homework for lesson 3.5, what you do is the benchmark practice book. That's where all of our homework assignments come from. We tear them out of our benchmark practice book out on Friday, send them home, and they're due the next Friday. So if you have lost your homework, you can go here and you can print off another copy. You click on the benchmark practice book. And just like before, you'll see this screen. You go to the table of contents. It looks a little bit different now because this is a different book. It's in, it's not in color anymore. And you're going to go until you get to, you're going to press next until you get to the chapter and the lesson that we were on. We're pretending that we were on lesson 3.5, so we're going to click on that. This is your homework for the day. So you can print this out. There's a printer button right here. Or if you don't have a printer, you can just write it down on a piece of paper. Just have this here as a reference. Write down number one, eight, sixteen, four, eight, two. Continue the pattern and tell me the rule. So you don't have to have a printer. It's nicer because you'll do less writing. But um, this is how you can access your homework assignments from Think Central. This is a very good resource. There's no excuses that you should not have your homework because it's right here for you. As long as you have an internet connection, you can always get your homework. Okay, now here's the fun, um, the other fun things that you can do. There's Mega Math, there's the online interventions, there's the Carmen San Diego videos, um, the real world videos uh, that you can access to go along with whatever you were learning that day in your lesson. So all that stuff is right here in your library once you log into Think Central. And like I said, click reading if you need your reading book. Um, we don't use all these things in my class. Your class may, I don't know. But definitely, you can click on your Storytown Student Edition. You can get to the story that we're reading. So you can, if you know we're having our comprehension test on that story, you can go ahead at home and you can reread your story. Or you can even listen to your story on here um, by, let me just show you. We'll go to, let's go to, I forget what page our current story is on, so we'll just go to the hot and cold summer. So here's the hot and cold summer, and you can listen to this story by clicking this if you have some headphones or speakers connected to your computer. So you can listen to your story before we take our comprehension test, or if you have an assignment like answer the questions at the end of the story. You can get, and you don't, you forgot to bring your book home. You can get to it through here. Um, also, we have um, some other things here that help you with, these are the small books that we read in small group, and all these other extra things that you may want to help you study for the things that we're supposed to be learning and reading. Same goes for science. You have all of your science stuff right here. So you can access anything that you have at school just by going on the internet. You can access your homework, you can access your books, any of that. You can also, if I've told you um, I want you to do this assignment, it will help you to get a better grade. You can go to the things to do, I've assigned it to you, and you do those. That will help you to improve your scores. The last thing on here that you're going to be able to see is my test scores. So if you click on that, it says you haven't done any assignments because I haven't, we haven't taken any of our tests online yet this year. But if your teacher allows you to take your um, testaments, your tests online, you'll see your tests here and you'll be able to see what you missed and what score you got. All right, so that's a really quick 
how to sign into Think Central, what you can get there, and how you can get your homework, how you can get your books, all that kind of stuff. This is my library right here. This is going to be your friend. All right, I hope this helps. Any questions, leave me a comment, and I will try to answer them. Thanks.